Now with the popular aging tool so many are trying, it's called Face App. It allows you to see what you'd look like when you're both younger or older. But there are questions this morning about privacy and how much access you're really giving them when you use it. Rebecca Jarvis has that for us. Hey, Robin. Yes, I know. It's one of those suck in moments because we're all so familiar with the privacy concerns here. And this one is going viral because of the face app challenge. Celebrities are taking pictures of their face with the app's technology, and it shows what it might look like 50 years from now. But they're getting a look into you, and that is raising some major security concerns. This morning, the app gone viral that has users hey, Benjamin buttoning their own faces. Face the, the internet sensation called FaceApp taking over social media in just the last 24 hours. Celebs like Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, the Jonas Brothers and Kevin Hart all posting their FaceApp pics. The free mobile app uses a type of artificial intelligence to transform your face with just one tap. Want a different smile? Done. Want a preview of what you might look like in 50 years? Bingo. The recent popularity now making it the top trending app in the iTunes App Store with nearly half a million ratings and glowing reviews. And it's not the first time the face app, developed by a small team from Russia, went viral. In 2017, it was criticized for what some considered racist filters that lightened users' skin tones. In the wake of recent social media scandals where other platforms have been taken to task for giving away users' private information, many now wondering if FaceApp is just more of the same. Its recent rise in popularity reigniting those privacy concerns. FaceApp's current privacy policy has been in place since 2017. Critics caution the app may collect more than just the pictures you upload. According to the policy, FaceApp cannot ensure the security of any information you transmit to FaceApp or guarantee that information on the service may not be accessed, disclosed, or destroyed. Yes, and FaceApp's privacy page also says they may share user content and your information with businesses that are legally part of the same group of companies that FaceApp is. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.